satellite shot. With the clear skies we had out there today, satellite was able to actually capture where we had snow over the weekend by where the snow was covering the ground. And that's exactly what you're looking at where it's white. That's where we had snow. Unfortunately, you can see what we like to refer to as the donut hole effect from the Palmer Divide south in toward Pueblo, but right around Denver, even portions of the plains getting in on the snow as we took you through the weekend. And we have more snow on the way, so let's jump right into your forecast. Heading into tomorrow morning. It is going to be cold, so make sure that you are ready to bundle up heading out the door in the morning. Temperatures tonight will be dropping into the teens and 20s. It is going to be a brisk start to your Tuesday. And tomorrow it's going to be a bit colder than it was out there today. We're going to keep the snow up across the high country. You can see those areas of blue on Skycast sticking around all the way through lunchtime. And we'll keep some snow around through tomorrow afternoon also. So if you are heading up into the mountains, prepare yourself for more winter travel conditions. The rest of the state, we don't get the snow, but we are going to keep the clouds in place with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day tomorrow. That's going to keep the temperatures cool. We'll hit 41 degrees in Colorado Springs with temperatures in the low 40s across the lower Arkansas River Valley. 30s expected from Leadville to Gunnison, Alamosa, warming to 39 degrees tomorrow. So it is going to feel like a December day on your Tuesday. Temperatures are going to stay rather seasonal as we head through the week. 43 on Wednesday, but Wednesday into Thursday, that's when we'll get some snow across southern Colorado. A rain snow mix on Wednesday, then heading into Thursday, that will bring the best chance for some minor accumulations. This storm doesn't look like it's going to pack much of a punch, so I don't anticipate we'll see many travel issues heading through Thursday. But that's certainly something that we are going to be keeping a very close eye on here over the next couple of days. If that changes, of course, we'll let you know right here on K. Radio News Channel 13. We'll dry out Friday into Saturday, drop the temperatures again on Sunday. Sunday will increase the clouds for the lower elevation, but Sunday we will get another shot of snow up across the ski resorts. Pueblo 42 tomorrow, 44 on Wednesday. That rain snow mix will be possible late Wednesday with snow possible. Then on Thursday, 39 degrees on Thursday with temperatures getting back into the 40s. Friday, Saturday, Sunday looking to be the cooler and cloudier day of the two weekend days. Canyon City 46 tomorrow, 47 on Wednesday. Wednesday night we'll have that rain snow mix. Colder air ushers in to the region on Thursday, and that means that we are going to see that rain snow transition into just snow. Teller County 38 tomorrow, 36 on Wednesday, with temperatures in the low 30s Thursday into Friday. It will be up across the mountains where we'll have the best chance of getting some accumulating snow, not only Wednesday into Thursday, but also that second round as we take you into the second half of the weekend. So we'll be watching out for those storms, but really they're not looking like overly strong storms yeah. at this point. Okay. Keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, Rachel.